Yo, 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 what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how I made a uh, dark uh, guitar and flute sample, kind of like a Pyrex style sample. Um, so this one I already made like a while ago, like a few months back. Um, and it's probably one of my favorite samples that I made. So yeah, I just wanted to show um, what I did, how I made it. And uh, yeah, hopefully you learned something. So let's get right into that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the finished sample just so you can hear it. Yeah, so it's got kind of like a like an Asian e vibe um, with the flute um, and the guitar going. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show what I did first for the guitar. Um, I pulled up Omnisphere, and I very rarely use Omnisphere for guitars. But honestly, like people hate on it, and I don't think it's I don't think it's that bad. Um, you gotta kind of tweak it to make it sound good. Um, so I picked the uh, classic nylon, and then I I messed with the timber timber up. Um, what the timber does is it just kind of I don't really know how to explain it. It's almost like velocity, how hard or like how soft you're um, you're playing the notes. Um, so yeah, I messed with the timber on that. And I think when I was making the actual MIDI, it was down an octave. So yeah, here's here's the actual MIDI. I know it looks super complicated, but um, all I really did here is I started in, this is in A sharp minor. So I started in A sharp minor. Um, I started with the root note on D sharp started with the root note and then I went up an octave and then went up another octave and just had the same note in three different octaves and then I had the A sharp play and all I did was I strummed it so that the chord was strummed and then I have these little notes going up and down here on the third and uh, right above that half step up um, and I did the same thing above uh, this note as well some extra um, flux in here and then like a little top thing same thing is down here pretty much and I added these little strum uh, fast notes. Um, they're, uh, I think, a quarter step. Yeah, a quarter step. And I started with the velocity low and then put the, uh, made the velocity go up uh, as the notes played. So I'll go ahead and play that so you can hear it. Yeah, so I liked how that sounded. Um, and honestly, it took me a while <laughs> to finish this this uh, MIDI because it is kind of complex um, but yeah so I did that here and then as you can see I, I just dropped it down five semitones but I felt like it was too much going on so I added um, half time to it and then I pitched it up an octave like that and that to me was a lot um, a lot easier to use for a sample Something I've noticed that people do is that they try to go too crazy with their midis. And with, what ends up happening is you make a super complicated uh, sample. You got to remember that the whole point of a sample is to make a, a beat out of the sample. So you still got to add the drums. And then not only that, but then when the beat's done, you got to have somebody who, who makes a song out of it. You don't want the sample to be so complicated that there's no room for anything. Um, so yeah, I just thought that this was a lot easier to use. So I kept it like that with the halftime. Um, I added an EQ. I EQ'd out the low end and some of the high end and then some of the um, low mids I just kind of dipped down um, added some reverb vintage verb uh, RC20 and then another EQ EQ dot more of the low end um, and then I separated it a little bit to give it to make it a little bit more wide so yeah that's the um, and so for the next part I added um, an instance of arcade here um, where I had a little flute going so I'll go ahead and play that Okay, so yeah, for this flute, um, I just used this uh, Northwest Passage um, kit inside of Arcade. Um, if you don't have Arcade, I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> There's so many good things in here. Uh, flute phrases, really good basses, um, vocals. I use Arcade for vocals a lot. But yeah, all I did was I set it to D sharp and then I played that little flute. Um, I panned it to the right and I added um, an EQ, EQ dot the low end, added um, Pretty decent amount of reverb and delay and separated that as well. And then the third thing I did is I added a flute phrase. Um, I don't remember where I got this phrase from, probably just some random pack. Um, but so what I did is I, I uh, had to figure out the key of the phrase 
and um, obviously you can see the, the phrases at 90 BPM. So I put it to um, stretch and then I go down to 90 so that it fits here in the region that I want it right here. So I just made it basically fit to that BPM and then you go back to 105 wherever you want the sample to be, stretch it, put it back on auto and boom, it fits to the BPM you want. Um, so I did that for the, um, for the phrase. I had to pitch it down uh, five semitones and I think I made some cuts too. But yeah, with these phrases, you gotta kinda just manipulate them and mess around with them, cut them, mess with the BPM and stuff like that. Um, so I'll go ahead and play what that sounds like on its own. Yeah, it just repeats after that. As far as effects go, um, I added a lot of EQ, EQ'd out the low end, I boosted the high end a little bit, and then I think there was a super sharp uh, frequency around here that I just cut out. Um, added a lot of reverb to this, delay, um, RC20. So yeah, I just had that that flute going, pan to the left, uh, more in the background, and then I had the other flute from Arcade going, pan to the right, um, with the guitar. And um, I'm pretty sure all I did for this sample, um, besides I added this texture as well, really super basic vinyl um, texture. You want the texture to be super in the background and not really too noticeable, but honestly, textures are key. I use textures for almost all of my samples and it just kind of brings them to the next uh, the next level. It's like a little added detail that not too many people um, bother doing. So I added the vinyl texture, got the flute phrase, the halftime guitar, and then the arcade flute. Go ahead and play how that sounds. And then I think for the final sample, I pitched it up one semitone. And once your sample is rendered out like this, you can obviously mess with the, um, the pitch, the BPM. You can pitch it down, you can pitch it up. And um, the goal of this sample was to be in like a low BPM range, 105 to like 115 or like 120 is like the typical Pyrex um, BPM. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And then for the master, I threw on a um, little, little more EQ, just some adjustments. Mondo Mod Stereo, this is key. Um, it just adds it's almost like RC20, um, where it adds like the wobble and stuff, but it's it's different and it adds a different kind of uh, texture to the sample. So I just go over to the wow preset, lower this down to 60, and then I put an um, imager on it to widen it up. So that's pretty much it for this sample. Um, this is from one of my old packs, uh, one of my free packs. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a link down in the description to all my, um, my free sample packs. If you like the sample and samples like these, um, I'm gonna be dropping a new one soon. So yeah, keep an eye out, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.